Because that plane, it was loaded up and with, you know, a full tank of gas heading all the way to Honolulu from Kentucky. Now, that's a long flight. Now, this guy right here, he's a, he's a captain, used to be an airline captain, and he's going to give the ins and outs of what might have happened during this plane takeoff to give us a little bit insight look at the... Uh, the critical damage that happened here. Those are the preliminary reports after the tragic crash of UPS 2976 today, shortly after takeoff, and I mean barely after takeoff from Muhammad Ali Airport in Louisville, Kentucky. What are the details that we know so far? Well, we don't know a whole lot. We have four videos I want to show you so far, uh, showing you various aspects of what took place. But uh, UPS, who operates their main hub, is Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, is operating flight 2976 from Louisville to Honolulu, Hawaii. Uh, that flight's a little over eight hours long, about eight hours and 20 minutes altogether. It's taking, uh, I think, 220,000 pounds of gas, and that's going to be... I think this guy's actually doing this in an airport. So you'll hear, like, messages in the background somewhere around 34,000 gallons of gas jesus and when you look at the video and see the fireball you can see i didn't see it bend any steel though <laughs> why that was just such a tragic uh, thing that happened in so much uh, explosions so much the fireball was just absolutely huge the airplane then begins its long takeoff roll and there's a phase in that takeoff roll that is in between what's called v1 v1 and rotate and that v1 speed is the decision speed it's the go no go speed in other words if you lose an engine, you have a massive failure after V1. You can't stop that airplane in the remaining runway that you have. You must go airborne at that point. So I believe that the pilots were past V1, and I know that because the flight radar 24 information tells us that they went off the end of the runway at 184 knots. That's well above any rotate speed for an MD-11.